Hi everyone, it's Mid Knox here. How is everybody today? Today we are going to do some practice with masks for students that have um, higher sensory needs that have difficulty with wearing a mask for any length of time and are not used to having something on their face. So what we're going to do is do it in stages and if you need to watch this video a few times to practice then um, feel free to do so. And I will do some timing and some relaxing music exchanges as well. Okay, um, so um, first you have to demonstrate yourself putting on the mask so that they can see that it doesn't hurt you and that it's okay and that um, you, you can look the same as the other person, like you can look like mom or look like dad or look like your teacher by wearing a mask too. Look at yourself in the mirror, show them the mirror um, if it's possible to do the whole s um, setup in front of the mirror as well. So first start maybe with even just having it on one ear. See if they will leave it even just on one ear to start with. Um, most masks that you can buy have them on one ear, but you can buy ones or have ones that have a longer lace that can tie. And some stu some children or even adults with sensory issues may be more likely to have one that ties at the back of the head that you may need some assistance with helping them out. And if they can put it on their ear for a length of five seconds, okay, so let's try that. We'll count, okay, ready? We're gonna put it on one ear and then keep our hands up like this. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good. And then take it off. Good job. Give praise. Give a small reward, maybe. Okay, try the other ear. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Okay. Take it off. Once you do that a few times, you can practice that. Maybe even it might take a couple of times across a few days to even get the one ear and then the other ear. The biggest problem is to put it across the face, the touching on the face and the inability to be able to breathe very well. So maybe start with first just under the chin. I know this isn't the correct way to wear a mask, but it might help them to be able to slowly merge to being able to have it up a little bit higher. Okay, so then again, counting again. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Take it off. Okay, good job. Okay, now let's try a little bit further up. Just up to maybe around the lip and see if they will wear it like that. See if they will leave it on for a count of five again or even higher. This time maybe we will count to five and then we will count to ten. Okay, and then you can try both. One, two, three. Four, five. Good. Okay, try again for ten. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good job. Okay. And then if for some reason you need to start over again and start again with hanging on one ear and then hanging on the other or hanging underneath the chin only, then that's okay as long as you know you slowly are making progress if you go backwards and then forwards again then that's okay okay and then try again this time covering the whole mouth we'll go just below the nose okay this time so over your ears and then holding at the bottom and then pulling up okay so my nose is still exposed and it's just underneath my cheekbones and I can still breathe very easily, but it is a start, right? It'll it'll help a little bit, okay? It is not the effective way to wear a mask, but we're looking for progress, not perfection as we go. Okay, ready? We'll do it again for five, and then we'll do it again for ten. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Okay, now for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, take it off. Another thing that you can try is some soothing music. So we will do that after we get practice up to over the nose, okay? And then I'll do soothing music with counts of five. And then I'll do it again with soothing music and counts of 10. And then you can feel free to for fast forward next time you watch the video each time to wherever you are in progress to be able to assist with making sure that the mask is on for longer periods of time, okay? Ready? Try again. We're going to get up to the nose, okay? Here we go. Okay, over the ears, around your ears, up and down. Okay, ready? We're just going to cover the tip of the nose. We're not going to go right up, okay? 
We're going to do the tip first, and then we'll go right up. Okay, so just the tip. And I can still breathe very easily. It's just slightly underneath my nose, okay? But it's giving me the sensation that I do need to practice breathing, and I am a little stuck, and it is pulling on my ears, okay? Um, you can buy straps for around the back of the head and buttons, and then you can um, attach it at the back, okay? Okay, are you ready? Okay, under the nose. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Okay, now for a count of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Okay, now let's try over the nose. Okay, are you ready? Just maybe on the bridge of your nose. Maybe get them to touch it first and then put it. And you might even want to practice just putting it up and down, up and down, okay? And then, once that's been practiced, then you can try leaving it, okay? Okay, so we'll do that, okay? Get them to pull it with two fingers, pinch it, and down. And you can make a game of it even. Where's your nose? Hide that nose. I don't want to see your nose. Very good, okay? Okay, we'll do it five times. Ready? One, two, three, four, and last one. Five. Very good. Okay, now let's leave it on for five, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Good. Now for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Okay, now I'm going to take it off. We'll start over again, okay? And this time I will play some music. Let me see if I can get that up and running for you. Okay, so we'll have some soothing music while we do it. Okay, ready? First on one ear. to count to 10, okay? Good. Other ear. Very good. that that helps a little bit and please practice so that everybody can stay safe. I did see somebody comment down below that they wanted to know what my shirt said. It says, I teach awesome kids. Okay, so hopefully we can keep all of our awesome kids safe. It gives us the ability to be able to take them out in public and um, we'll get through this COVID-19 
stuff all together as a group. Good practicing. High five. Bye.